We've got a content draw for MLB 24, so I should be trying to go over everything here in today's video. We have the Egg Hunt program, we have a new Conquest map, we have a free stub millionaire pack in the shop, we have a new pack in the shop, a new chase boss, a new headliner, a new event, new additions to the ranked program, new additions to the season one collection. So let's just go ahead right away and start with the Egg Hunt program. You're going to find this under other programs, our third program of the year and right away at 10 points you're going to get this icon there are 10 hidden eggs to collect and every egg will get you 10 points in this program at 10 points you get 4000 xp this icon at 20 points you get three packs with jelly beans in them we'll talk about that here in just a little bit at 30 points you get your first card a thousand stubs and 89 overall relief pitcher aaron bummer we see 107 hits per nine 112 pitching clutch 80 walks per nine that goes with the 72 control 94 velocity for him 99 break we see his pitch selection in the top right the velo on each of them we see the control on each of his pitches scaring me a little bit and then the break on each of them nasty on that sinker and the slurve no quirks for this Aaron Bummer he's the first card and then at 40 we get our second card as well as 4000 XP a 90 overall Willie McCovey plays first left and right field 86 contact versus righties with 101 power versus right-handed pitching only 64 contact versus left 91 power versus left 80 vision 96 clutch 56 fielding at first base not sure if you'd want to stick him out there in left or right field especially with his 31 speed he also has these quirks that we see right here a good left-handed swing power hitting willie mccovey at 50 points we get five more jelly bean show packs at 60 points we get 4,000 xp and 90 overall john smoltz a starting pitcher 97 for his stamina 83 hits per nine 71 walks per nine 82 control 81 velo and 99 break we see the velocity on each of his pitches in the top right we can see the control on each of his pitches up in the top right and then we can also see the break on each of them maxed out on that slider and then a few quirks for this 90 overall john smoltz at 60 points at 70 points we get heimer candelario a switch hitter 91 contact versus righties 90 versus lefties 90 power versus righties 88 power versus lefties 78 vision 102 clutch a nice hitting 90 overall switch hitting card 75 fielding for him 58 speed at third base also plays first base 74 reaction and a few quirks for this candelario that switch hitter at 70 points at 80 we get this icon as well as some stubs i'm liking the look of that coach icon and then the highest overall in the egg hunt program i was a little bit surprised to see that he's only a 91 and you'll see why i'm surprised by this as we look at the other content but the highest overall card today is a 91 christian yelich i love that card art yelich there with all of his chicks 97 contact versus righties 91 versus lefties 84 power versus righties 80 versus lefties 66 vision 106 clutch 75 fielding 74 speed for this christian yelich with a few quirks that we see right there and that is the last card you can lock in the egg hunt program so only nine of the ten eggs to get yelich but if you want 4,000 extra XP, as well as the golden egg icon, you need to collect each of the 10 hidden eggs. And there's going to be hints for each egg. Once I have unlocked all the eggs, I should have a video explaining how I unlocked each of the eggs. But let's go ahead and read all the hints. So hidden egg number one, the hint is there are 10 hidden eggs at this very moment. I'm guessing there's some moments. We'll go ahead and check to see if that's true. Hidden egg number two, start your egg hunt journey down here. Gonna probably have something to do with that capitalized word down. Hidden egg three, you'll have to be sneaky competitive to discover this egg. You'll also notice the eggs have some art on them and that might give us some hints about where we have to unlock them. Egg number four, make sure one of these birds have more eggs in their own box score than yours. Egg five, rumor has it that the chicken man lays eggs we can see a mustache on that egg right there who is the chicken man maybe that's going to have something to do with it hidden egg six what goes well with eggs jelly beans we'll touch on that a little bit in a second hidden egg seven don't trip during your egg hunt hidden egg eight my favorite spring events is watching bunnies hop hidden egg nine all-star egg hunts are a classic that looks like maybe some mini season stuff 
and then hidden egg 10 conquering the egg hunt requires you to explore the furthest point in diamond dynasty i'm wondering what that means we'll go ahead and try to find all the eggs for you i'll go ahead and real quick on the main menu just go down to the moments and we can see in the moments tab under other programs there are egg hunt moments and you do get an egg for completing all of these moments that they have available so that's how you're going to be getting one of the eggs is completing the moments you need nine out of the ten eggs for unlocking that christian yelich if we go to collect and then exchanges we can see that there is jelly beans if you exchange 15 jelly beans you also get a hidden egg voucher so we know two of the eggs one for a moment one from collecting 15 jelly beans when you're seeing the jelly beans on the packs i'm guessing you can pull some jelly beans from the packs we also see exchange jelly bean vouchers for 100 jelly beans you can get a spring chickens pack and with that we might as well go to the pack shop and see what's new in the pack shop we see jelly beans again right there on the 50 bundle on the standard packs on the other bundles it looks like jelly beans are going to be available in packs and you need 15 of them for a hidden egg 100 of them and you can get one of these spring chicken packs but taking a look at the pack shop we can see a free stub millionaire i'm going to go ahead and redeem mine this is only available for three days we got three days left on the mookie and we have this spring chickens pack some 89 overalls in the base round a jake burger 101 power versus righties 125 max down power versus left-handed pitching 53 vision 86 clutch for this jake burger a couple quirks on his card as well also in the base round we have aaron hicks another switch hitter today 83 and 97 for his contact 81 and 90 for his power 96 arm strength out there in right field also plays left and center field with his 70 fielding 62 speed on that 89 aaron hicks next up is alec manoa a starting pitcher card in the base round 102 stamina 91 hits per nine 69 walks per nine 81 control 88 velo 94 break we see the velocity up in the top right on each of his pitches we see the control on each of his pitches and then the break on each of alec manoa's pitches up in the top right and also in the base round we have a luke voigt with max power versus each side i have a feeling this card is going to be a go-to card for me in battle royale i love hitting for power and br home runs get me a lot of my runs on this 89 luke voigt he's got max power versus each side and i think the final card in the base round is going to be adam Ottavino. 119 hits per nine what scares me is that 65 walks per nine 76 control but he does have max pitching clutch 83 velocity 99 break and a five pitch mix we see the velo on each of his pitches in the top right we see the control on him looking a little bit scary up in the top right and then we see mcgunsky in the top right pulling a diamond from a jelly bean pack but we also have the pitch break up in the top right from adam adovino with one quirk on this card and now for the rare round yelich was a 91 the rare round in this pack are 92s kind of makes me wish yelich was at least a 92 but hey we got johnny bench 92 overall catcher first third left and right field with 86 fielding 76 reaction 36 speed 92 and 81 for his contact ratings 87 and 73 for his power with 82 vision and 88 clutch on this 92 overall johnny bench next up in the rare round we have jesus lazardo 92 overall left-handed starting pitcher 96 stamina for him 82 for his hits per nine 80 pitching clutch 88 walks per nine with 77 control and then 99 velocity as well as break we see the velo on each of his pitches up in the top right we can see the control on each of them in the top right really good control on that four seam fastball and then the pitch break up in the top right as well for this 92 jesus lazardo and then the final card in the rare round final card in this spring chickens pack is going to be 92 ryan sandberg second baseman also plays third base 102 contact versus righties 97 versus left 84 and 75 for his power numbers 78 vision 99 clutch 88 fielding 66 speed for this ryan sandberg with a few quirks that we see on the card and that's going to be the spring chickens pack we also have a new chase card today hyper series wyatt langford 93 overall 
82 contact versus righties, 92 versus lefties, 90 power versus right, 96 versus lefties, 70 vision, 92 clutch, 77 fielding, 83 speed for Wyatt Langford as our new chase card joining the others. Actually, it's going to be chase pack two. I didn't even realize. It'll be, looks like maybe the first card in chase pack number two. And then we also have a new headliner today with some athletics uniforms. One of my favorite relievers every year. We have a Dennis Eckersley. 105 hits per nine for him with 111 pitching clutch, 108 walks per nine, 96 control. So going with that 60 velocity, he's going to have really good control on his slider, sinker, and forcing fastball. We see the velo up in the top right for each of them. Definitely throws a little bit slow, but the control looking really good. 91, still not bad on the slider with a max down control on the sinker and four seamer. And then the pitch break looking solid for him besides that four seam fastball as well. On this 93 Dennis Eckersley, the new headliner, the Pac-5 headliner. Keep going down in the shop, and we have some AAA uniforms and icons. Bottom right of the screen, if you want to take a look at those, just kind of scrolling through what we have on the Copa division. I'm not exactly sure what that is, Copa de la Diversion. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I'm liking the look of some of these uniforms that we see right here. And there's quite a few of them. Each of these packs are going to be 3,000 stubs a piece going on through. And there's really more than I expected. And this is not the only pack that we have. I think I might have cycled through everything at this point. We also have a double A one for these, taking a look at the uniforms. And I'm really actually liking the look of some of these. The pinatas, that's kind of cool. And I like the color schemes on some of them. Yeah. So we have a couple uniform and icon choice packs. You choose two of them, 3,000 stubs apiece in the pack shop. I like the Luchadores one right there. And Cardinales, that's cool too. Ooh, I might have to get that one right there. And just scrolling through, that is the AA one that we have right there. Again, there's jelly bean packs. These should contain jelly beans. You get 15 jelly beans. I don't think it's probably guaranteed per pack, but you'll get jelly beans from these and 15 of them for a hidden egg voucher and that is the new pack shop now that we're not done with the content today we can see if we go to conquest that there is an egg hunt conquest map i'm assuming there's got to be something to do with the hidden egg voucher in here we can see the goals i just always like taking a look at them but we can see the jelly bean packs two of them for capturing 50 territories if you capture three strongholds with mascots that can lay an egg, you get a few more packs, five packs and a thousand XP for conquering all the territories on the map. I'm guessing there's going to be some hidden packs in here as well, just under the spaces, under the strongholds, especially because we can see, hey, there's those uniform and icon packs under featured rewards. There's jelly bean packs as well. So there is a new conquest map that we have today. Now for online content, I want to start with the ranked program. If we go ahead and go to the ranked program, they added the second drop of missions. We have solo stat missions that you can do a lot of them here to earn points in solo ranked. These are not co-op ranked missions, but they also have co-op innings missions where you can continue to earn progress in the ranked program. And then they also have higher difficulty stat missions that you can earn points from now scrolling on down the packs are currently jelly beans i guess that's a good sign for me who hasn't you know completed much of this ranked program yet but if you keep going at the end of the program they've added a fresh start pack where you can get a choice pack to choose one player i don't know if these yeah there's going to be the base round and the rare round so hopefully you get lucky on this but that's nice to see we were talking about just a couple days ago I wanted them to start adding the packs that they released in the shop in more locations. So it's nice to see the fresh start pack here at the end of the ranked program. If you make it all the way down there. Now staying on multiplayer modes. We have our new event. The opening day event. 24 flashbacks. Team Affinity Season 1 Chapter 1 players. Live series cards as well as captain cards. And let's take a look at the rewards. We can see some packs along the way. Stubs along the way. XP along the way and Taylor Ward plus some XP our first card reward at 10 wins here in this event hyper series left field also plays catcher first third center and right field 81 contact foreign versus righties 90 contact versus lefties 
80 power, foreign versus right-handed pitching, 71 versus left, 71 vision, 86 clutch, 81 fielding, 73 speed for this Taylor Ward Hyper Series at 10 wins in the event. Some stubs, a pack, XP, ball and pack. At 20 wins, you get 2,000 XP as well as a 92 overall Brian Abreu relief pitcher card, 113 hits per nine, max pitching clutch, 64 walks per nine with 75 control, but he does have 97 velo as well as 99 break, a slider, four seam, and a slurve. We see in the top right the velo on each of them, the control on each of his pitches, and then the pitch break on each of Brian Abreu's pitches, and he is the 20 win reward in this current event. And then at 25 wins, you can get 2,000 XP as well as some more packs right there. But we're not done with the new content today. They added more to the collections. If we go ahead and go to the Season 1 collections, we can see that they added a Collect 70 and a Collect 120 reward. 10,000 XP as well as John Franco for collecting 70 Season 1 cards. We can see 91 overall John Franco, left-handed pitcher, screwball, sinker, slider, four seam, and a circle change. 115 for his hits per nine, 95 walks per nine, 113 pitch and clutch, 92 control, only 66 velo, but 99 break on the card. That screwball is going to be nasty. We see the velo up in the top right. We see the control on each of his pitches up in the top right looking pretty solid. And then the pitch break not looking too bad either. So a slow pitcher, but he does have a lot of break and good control on that 91 John Franco and then collect 120 for this 93 new legend Rich Aurelia we have 103 contact versus right 102 versus lefties 76 power versus righties and then 108 versus lefties 93 vision 89 clutch for him 83 fielding at shortstop also has 78 reaction and 58 speed for this 93 Rich Aurelia for collecting 120 season one cards and i think that should be everything for today's content drop maybe let me know if i missed anything but i want to see your thoughts on the new content down in the comment section with 92s and 93s in the pack shop as well as the events i was really hoping that christian yelich would be a 92 or a 93 instead of a 91 but i'm interested to see how he plays i'm liking the look of the card art from the spring chickens pack as well as the egg hunt program we can see that season awards drop one is on april 2nd that's going to be the tops now monthly awards lightning cards that's how they're doing it this year with a season awards program we'll get our first look at that on the second also on the second headliners pack number five also on april 5th we have three legendary storylines i'm not sure if they're going to be adding to jeter storylines but we get our second of the Negro Leagues Season 2 drop for storylines on April 5th. And then April 12th is going to be new rank season, new battle royale, new events, as well as Team Affinity Chapter 2. So April 12th looks like it's going to be a pretty full day for content. Drop a like if y'all enjoy the videos. Feel free to subscribe for daily uploads. I'm going to right now try to get through the Egg Hunt program as fast as possible. And then hopefully get a video letting y'all know how exactly to get exactly to get every egg for that program but i'll see you guys next time thank you as always for watching hope you have a great rest of your day great weekend and a happy easter i love you guys appreciate y'all continuing to show up show love on the daily videos and i'll see you next time